Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can automatically generate rules for your coding assistant based on your interactions with the agent. What does this mean? Over time when you interact with your agent, Cognin will generate rules out of those conversations automatically and dynamically update them so that you don't have to manually enter your rules to coding assistants which they don't even follow properly. <laughs> If you haven't done yet, go ahead and clone Cogni repo and give us a star if you like it. And the next thing that we'll head to documentation page and follow the guideline to integrate Cogni MCP server with cursor. Now in your local Cogni, you will set your environment variables. I'll go with Neo4j for this time just to show you how you can customize it and then run your server. Then we'll open a new project in Cursor and configure Cogni MCP server there. In the integrations, you'll add a new MCP server. I have many here, but at the end, we'll use only one. And we can also see all the available tools here. In this example, we're gonna focus on save interaction and get developer rules. And for this example, we're gonna create one rule that will always run the save interactions tool from Cogni MCP server. After we save it, we are done with the configuration. Now we can start with pruning Cogni. As you can see, save interaction worked. And I also want to show you how the knowledge graph looks like in the initial phase. As you can see, we already have our node sets, coding agent rules and user agent interactions and some initial concepts. Now let's start with a simple example. Write a simple Python function that print prints hello world and as we can see it created a hello.py file for us and we'll just refresh our neo4j instance and see the freshly generated um, nodes and relationships let's filter it out and we can already see four rules that includes the initial rules and what we got from this first uh, conversation and we'll ask what rules do I have in Cogni and it will call get developer rules and of course again save interactions and it will show us the four rules that we can also see in Neo4j. Now we want to do some changes. I only want to log statements, not prints in this file. Cursor will modify our file and it will be saved to Cogni rules again. As we can see in Neo4j, there's a new rule generated. Prefer using logging libraries and so on. So now we, when we ask based on the rules from Cogni, create another function outputting apples. And here we go. Yes, another function. Now it's directly with the log statement. So let's try it. Now let's try it without Cogni to see how cursor would normally, normally react to that. We'll go with the same example, write a simple function that prints hello world. And we'll delete the previous file and we will re-index uh, our code base. And we have to now prompt it again to create a file because it just prompted, it just gave us the output in the chat. Now cursor is preparing another file for us yeah and again i only want log statements not prints in this file cursor will do that cool now create another function outputting apples and it's let's see it is creating with the logs that's fine let's create a new chat and ask the same question, outputting apples. And now we can see that it's basically creating a print statement instead of logging. So let's go ahead and 
enable our Cognium CP again and in a new chat let's ask the same thing but this time search my rules in Cogni and create another Python function outputting apples based on those rules which will check the get developer rules tool and it will create a function that is actually logging the output instead of printing out. So now go ahead and try your example and share it with the whole community in our Discord server.